Alex, you can probably uh, just get out of your seat and probably throw it away. It'd probably be a decent idea. Just saying. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what this problem is asking us to do is they would like us to be able to do the composition of f of g of x. And they also like us to complete, I'm sorry, h of g of x. We don't have a function named f, right? So h of g of x and g of h of x. Okay. So when looking at it as how it's written like this, we need to kind of remember what does the composition when written in this format represent? Well, what this represents is h of g of x. That means I need to evaluate g of x into my h of x function. So another way we could write this is going to be h of g of x. And this one is going to be the exact opposite, which would be g of h of x. All right? So we go through just an example, ladies and gentlemen. So therefore, I'm going to say h of g of x. I'm sorry, extra parentheses. Okay. So what if I said, if I so, what I'm doing is I'm plugging the g of x function into the h of x function. So I say h of x we know is going to equal x plus 2. But if I take the g of x function into x plus 2, it's going to look like this. g of x plus 2. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the g of x function and plugging it in for x. So now we need to evaluate what's the g of x function. 2x plus 2. And we can't simplify that anymore. So h of g of x equals 2x plus 2. Now let's go back and do the other way. So now I have g of h of x. So that means I'm going to plug h of x into the g of x function. So I take my h of x function and plug it now into my x. So now I'm going to have 2 times h of x. Do you guys see how it's kind of all you're doing is you're plugging your h of x function in for x of the other function. I'll say that again. You're taking your, func your innermost function and plugging that in for x into the other function. So therefore, what does h of x represent? h of x is x plus 2. So I have 2 times x plus 2. Simplify, I get 2x plus 4. Okay. Oh, and FYI, real quick. Might as well tell you guys this now. Uh, actually, uh, never mind. We'll get through it. 